Right, the government has called on the French business community in the country to strengthen cooperation as Malaysia, Malaysia takes over the ASEAN chair next year in order to build a prosperous community. Deputy Investment Trade and Industry Minister Liu Chin Tong said this call follows decades of strong trade and investment ties between the two countries with over 600 French companies now established in Malaysia. Thank you. Members of the Malaysian French business community, let's work, together, let's work together to build stronger ties between Malaysia and France, not just in business, but also in culture and in people-to-people -people relationship. Speaking at the Malaysian French Chamber of Commerce and Industry Gala dinner last night, Liu encouraged the community to continue exploring the ASEAN market, which has a population of 670 million. Over the next 15 years, the region's middle class is expected to expand to 400 million people, comparable to China's current middle class population. To create these markets, the French companies in Malaysia or ASEAN will have to pay better salaries to Malaysian workers and the workers in ASEAN region to enable them to be a middle class or to be part of the middle class. In exchange, French companies benefit by creating market for their products outside the United States, Europe and China. Last year, France became Malaysia's third largest trading partner within the European Union, with total trade reaching 16.72 billion ringgit, representing approximately 8% of Malaysia's overall trade with the EU. French investments in Malaysia span various sectors, including electrical and electronics, infrastructure, aerospace and defence, manufacturing, retail and services.